Hello everyone. This video is about how to implement a website in PHP so you can authenticate your users with the Microsoft account using Open Authorization version 2.0. You will find some links on the video description. First of all, you need a PHP capable ACS web server so it must run over HTTPS then you will have to register your application in the Azure Active Directory you have the link here and I will put it on the description as well I just call my application demo1 then once you register the application write down the application ID and the tenant ID because you need it later on. Then from the certificates and secrets make sure you select new client secret and generate a new secret. You can call it whatever you want. Once you generate this secret you copy it to the clipboard and save it somewhere safe. then you will have to add a redirect URI and this is the URL where the Microsoft will redirect the uh, user after a successful authentication. So you have to click on the redirect URI, then click on add a platform, select web application, write your URL here, and then don't forget to check this uh, checkbox, access tokens, and select save. Now you have everything you need uh, on the Microsoft site in order to accept your application. Then you start writing your PHP application. First, you have to define some variables such as application ID, tenant ID, the secret and uh, login URL where you will send your users to authenticate with their Microsoft accounts. Then do some uh, session checking and if the user is not logged in, then you will present the user with a login option. So the application so far should look like uh, this. Later on, you have to implement the action login where you build an URL using the client ID redirect URI, which is the same one that you use to uh, register your application. This is the URI where you, uh, Microsoft will send your users back to you. You ask for a response type of type token the scope here is the privileges that you will need from Microsoft. In this case, you need uh, to be able to uh, read the user's profile. And then you will redirect your web browser to the login URL presented in the previous uh, section and with the uh, parameters that were built here. The user will be redirected uh, on the Microsoft website and if uh, the user will login successful, it will be asked to accept some uh, permissions. So it will click accept and then you will get an access token on the redirected URI that you register your application with. I'm going to use uh, JavaScript to replace this uh, uh, sharp character with a question mark and re uh, refresh my web page in order to get this token on the web from the browser side to the web side to the server side okay then you will have to verify that token and i'm going to do this by sending uh, a request to the microsoft graph api in order to uh, verify that the token 
that uh, I got is uh, correct in order to avoid some token injection. Okay, and now I do, uh, do that using PHP curl. So I will build another get query in which I will ask this information from Microsoft slash me means the information uh, uh, for the current user. And if I have no errors in my requests, then I will set the session ID and I will refresh my uh, web page. The web page then should look like this because the user is authenticated and the uh, full name of the user will be uh, displayed. Then I will have to implement the logout action, which will unset my uh, session variable. You will find a link to the full source code in the description of this video. Thank you.